Hello and welcome to the English Like a Native podcast. My name is Anna and you're listening to week 11, day one of Your English Five a Day, the series that aims to increase your vocabulary by five pieces every single day of the week from Monday to Friday. So let's get started with today's list. Top of the list today is a noun and it is globe trotting. Globe trotting. We spell this G L O B E T R O T T I N G. Globe trotting. This describes the act of traveling to many different countries. I have done my fair share of globe trotting in the past. And as many of you listening are polyglots, then I would expect that many of you are used to globe trotting as well. Here's an example sentence After years of globe trotting, I have finally settled down in Spain <laughs> until I get itchy feet again. Next on our list is an adjective, and it is innate. Innate. We spell this I-N-N-A-T-E, innate. An innate quality or ability is one that you were born with, not one that you have learned. So something that comes very naturally to you. Here's an example sentence. Cyril's most impressive quality is his innate goodness. Next, we have a verb, and it is venture, venture. We spell this V-E-N-T-U-R-E. To venture is to start a new activity or start thinking in a new way or start doing an activity in a new place. So to venture, to start. Here's an example sentence. I thought we might venture into the countryside this weekend. It's been ages since we got away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Next, we have an idiom. Woohoo! We love idioms. This is a very short and simple one. It is to stay put. To stay put. This is spelled S T A Y, stay, and then put, P U T. To stay put. This is to remain in the same place or position. So if I am out with my children and I need to go to the desk at a hotel or I need to go to the counter in a cafe or restaurant to order something, then I would say to the children, you stand here and stay put. Don't move. Don't run away as soon as my back is turned. Stay put. Remain exactly where you are. Here's another example. You stay put and look after the bags. I'll go and buy our tickets from the cashier. Next and last on our list is the verb cherish, to cherish something. Now, this is spelled C-H-E-R-I-S-H. -E cherish, cherish. Now, the verb cherish is often used with hopes, memories, or ideas, or people. We cherish people. We cherish moments that we spend with people we care about. So this means to keep those hopes and memories and ideas in your mind because they're important to you and they bring you pleasure. So you hold them and you try to remember them. You keep them safe in your mind and in your heart. Here's an example sentence. I cherish every moment with you. We never seem to have long enough together, so I make the most of it when I can. Is there a special person in your life that you cherish? In fact, this Christmas I bought both of my sons a little music box which plays You Are My Sunshine. And this is a song that I've sang to my boys every night since they were born. And they really relate that song to me and our relationship. So these little wind-up music boxes that they have to use a little a crank to wind themselves, 
They really cherish those music boxes. They were probably the most cherished Christmas presents because they meant so much to the boys that they now have them next to their beds, on their little shelf next to their beds, and they play them every night when they first get into bed, and it makes them smile. And I hope that they will cherish them for the rest of their lives if they last that long. So that's our five for today. Let's do a quick recap. We started with the noun globe trotting, which is the act of traveling to many different countries. Then we had the adjective innate, which is like this natural ability or quality that you're born with. Then we had the verb venture, to venture, which is to start a new activity or to start thinking in a new way. Then we had the idiom stay put, which is don't move, stay in the same place, please. And we finished with the verb to cherish, to keep something in your mind because it's important to you and it brings you pleasure. So let's do this now for pronunciation purposes. Please repeat after me. Globe trotting. Globe trotting. Innate. Innate. Venture. Venture. Stay put. Stay put. Cherish. Cherish. Fantastic. So remind me, what adjective would I use to suggest that your happiness and positivity is something that you were born with? Innate. It's an innate quality within you. And what noun would I use to describe your love? of travelling to different countries. Globe trotting. Globe trotting. And what verb would I use to describe the start of a new activity? This is your new venture. You're off on a new venture. You're venturing into the unknown. And what verb would I use to describe Keeping something in your mind because it's very important to you. Cherish. You will cherish that special thing. And if I don't want you to go anywhere, I need you to remain exactly where you are. I would use the idiom. Stay put. Stay put. Exactly. Right. Well done. Let's bring everything together in a little story. Listen out for today's words and phrases. With an innate curiosity for travel, you won't find me staying put in one place for long. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to see the world, to experience other countries, the food, the different climates, the people. My mother didn't share my or my brother's thirst for adventure. So during the school holidays, we didn't venture far from home. I spent more time staying with friends than I did with my family. I wasn't going to waste six weeks holiday sitting indoors. I've been to Bali, the Maldives, the Seychelles, Fiji, Australia, Singapore and Thailand, to name but a few. And I cherish every single memory every person I met and interacted with, every experience that opened my eyes to a whole new world. I've made friends for life. I've bought mementos from every country. A a memento is an object that you keep to remember a person, place or event. (laughs) And I've got hundreds of photos that I fondly keep close to my heart to remind myself of the journeys that I've been lucky enough to enjoy. Sharing these experiences with my children is also very important to me. Whether it's going away as a family or talking about what I've done and what they have to look forward to. They're already planning their travels with friends once they leave school. I've definitely given them the bug. My days of globetrotting are far from over though. I'm just saving up for the next far-flung adventure. 
And that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you found this in any way useful, then I'd really appreciate giving this a like, a rating or review so that others may find this podcast too. Until next time, take very good care and goodbye.